Hello, friends and comrades. It's me, Ostriv. I don't even know if. <laughs> Welcome back to Ostriv, where last time we did not have this terrible of an intro, but here we are. This time things got worse. No, last time what we did is we built this church, finally, and we also embarked on other things. We added this market, and we added an, a useless warehouse. Uh, we still only have one granary, and so we're not actually delivering everything that we should be delivering to this, this part of town, which is a little bit concerning. But you know what? We're going to say a thousand chicken meat. That's what we're going to say. Um, yeah, we added this, this stable, but we don't have any workers right now, so I think we should just assign some workers. Uh, oh boy, look at all these open vacancies. We sort of resolved our vacancies problem. Uh, the stone mining camp has been... We're moving a stone mining camp. That's what we're doing as well. And we've just moved all the carts and we're going to say demolish. We're going to clear this out because we are going to add uh, a cart parking. No, a wagon shed. I think wagons are pulled by horses. I think that's the situation. That's one of the only things that we don't have. Um... And actually, I think we're also going to need a wagon shed. Maybe we'll just add, like, add it to this this side of the of town as well. Just a wagon shed over here. Shedding wagons. Last time I was shedding wagons. And we'll add one here. Oh boy, the wagon shed is such a big building. Um, sure. So I quite like the way that we've designed this bit here, uh, but what it keeps, like, oh god, you guys have so many children. What it keeps illustrating to me is the fact that, like, you really need a lot. Okay, people are constantly broke. I'm a little bit, I feel a little bit guilty, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna up the wages of laborers. We have reduced rent already. Maybe the market product price could be reduced as well. But no. No, no. No. I like good numbers. Like, good round numbers. <sighs> why was... Why is their balance positive? What's going on? How, how can this be? That's weird. That is weird. Housing rent, local sales, export. Well, you know, um, yeah, so so for those of you who don't know, who may have just joined us this late in in the situation, the objective of our Ostrov game is, well, the ob objective of this current game that I'm playing is to get into the positive numbers with money because we just went into negatives and we kept going more and more into negatives. And my objective is, number one, to build all the things that we need to build. And then number two... Oh, I don't want to just buy male horses. Okay, I'll buy... I'll buy two male horses. <laughs> number two... What? Oh yeah, number two. So uh, my number one objective was actually to build everything that you could build. So my number one objective was to... Uh, just, you know, explore every bit of content, as it were, of the game. Make sure that we're producing everything, make sure that, you know, people are being fed and so on to have a stable town that's doing the most that it possibly can. So that's number one. And number two was a little, like, w because we started getting more and more in debt, I said, okay, so once everything is established, our second goal is to not be in debt. And of course the hidden number three, but that's always a thing in my games, is that I wanted to look nice. So I want a town that looks aesthetically pleasing as well as is actually functional. And I feel like we're getting there. I, I do like the way that our town has developed. Um, I, I am going to add some more trees. Hold up. Cottonwood tree here to continue this pattern. Uh, how far away are these guys? Okay, about this far away. So let's just... Let's just go around here and just add these. 
Lovely. What's going on over here? There's a little... There's a little bush. What are you? It's not something I can click. So it's probably just a remnant of the forest. There used to be forest all the way over here. Uh, we just basically deforested this entire area. Uh, very not nice of us, but you know, that's what life sometimes is like. I really am thinking we should have a bridge here. So maybe this platform should move to the left? Unless we decide to make a bridge here. No, I feel like this is better, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna move this platform. So we're gonna say demolish this platform, build a new platform on this side. It just looks nicer too. Uh, and we'll do it in this order. And we'll actually do that before we do these things. These are wagon sheds for wagons, but I don't think that we need... Hold up! Where did all these horses come from? Where did we have all these horses? Look at this! We've got male horses, we got female horses. Where were these horses stored? So talk to me about horseshoes and horse tack. I don't really know anything about this. So I'm just going to assume that uh, maybe the wagon shed is going to tell me. I don't know. Maybe the stable can tell me. No, stable doesn't have a question mark. Well, okay, we've deconstructed the platform. And then I guess we can build a bridge. Too low. Honey, too low. That is a mood. Place is occupied. Okay, okay. I see what you're stepping in. Place is occupied. Fine, we're gonna have to remove you. Need to empty first. Jesus Christ, so much really make empty. So much work. Uh, you know what? Well, if we're doing that, then I guess we can add new hay dryers on this end. Uh, just like that. Sure, sure. We got a hay dryer over here. We don't have any hay dryers up here. But we do have the possibility of a cow shed. This is an empty cow shed. Nobody's working in here yet. But it is, you know, ready. Or it is, it is, uh, willing to have cows. Has this been emptied? Come on, folks. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It'll just take a while. Oh god, how do we constantly- we're constantly adding houses and yet we're constantly running low on workers. How does this happen? Oh, okay, we do need to- oh, there's a break in there. So I guess let's just continue this. Perfect. Or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that on the mini map. I love looking at the mini map to check like if what I've done is good, because <laughs> the mini map kind of, I feel like, has the nicest aesthetic. Okay, this is a problem. It's snapping to that corner. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. We'll fix it. So if each house adds two people, which it does, two adults, uh, we have, wait, 21 open vacancies. So let's say we're just going to add 10 buildings, four, seven, or let's say 12, eight. And then I think it's probably time to, to make another hole in between. Um, just disable snapping for a second. Uh, that's 10, 5, 10, 11, and 12. 
Of course, we're going to struggle as heck to put anything in, in the middle here. Yeah, you know what? Changed my mind. Changed my mind. It's a woman's prerogative. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to move these out. Only this one remains, because this one was the one that was actually that I needed to position so that it wouldn't snap to the wagon shed. Nope. The wagon shed. Place is occupied. Let me... Uh, we, oh, there we go. That's not beautiful, though. That's not as nice as it was before. Sure. We got some room over there for more houses. Let's add some more houses over here too. Uh, house. Another house. Ooh, we can really stack them in here. That's very lovely. Another house. I'm gonna add four. Lovely. And we can actually move this one up top. We can kind of alternate them here. Gorgeous. So tell me about your stuff. Supply for construction. Regular deliveries. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, draft horses. Alright, so we're gonna need a draft horse. Uh, we got a bunch of horses that are all two years old. Um, so we're gonna say one male. We got only two males. So we're gonna say two of them are gonna be draft horses. What's the maximum amount of horses you can have? Anyway, draft horses. Go and have a go. Go stand in the draft. That's not what draft horses are. All right, we are horsing around. We are doing the stone mining. We are forty people behind. See, the reason that we're forty people behind is because. The farms call for like a ton of laborers. A horse died of starvation. Oh shit! <laughs> no 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 no. Um, we don't want horses to die of starvation. God, did both of them die? You better run. You better run. I do wish that it separated the vacancies for laborers and the vacancies for workers because it's difficult to tell, um, you know, because laborers are generally like the extra workers of a place. Laborers are the ones that are not necessarily needed for most workplaces. They just assist with farming, with production, with whatever, like with carrying things around. They don't assist with production, but they generally like with collecting things from farms and so on. So. Like, there are certain seasons when, like, you suddenly have a lot of open vacancies. And I just wish that it told you exactly how many people are laborers and how many people are anything else. That would make it a little bit easier to, to plan things out. What's that? Emptying concluded? Excellent. Delete. And then we can make a bridge! Uh, that's under transport. Too low. Don't tell me to. The place is occupied. Alright, we're gonna just try to sneak it just... Cool. Ew, that's ugly. We could probably... We could probably remove this farm and move all the farms to the outskirts. And we could use the inside here for more houses. 
just to keep the aesthetics good. I know aesthetics is not really what you should use as a signifier of, of good things, but I kind of feel like, you know, <laughs> it could be really nice. It could be really nice. It could remove this field and we could just have so many houses. Could you imagine? A bunch of houses, and they would be in range of anything they need. Markets, work, everything. We might do this. We might do this. We might do this. Should we do this? I feel like we should. I feel like we should do this. Am I convincing you or me? Look at this. Lovely. Pigs. More pigs than you could hope for. More pigs than you could hope for. Great. Great. Are you... Do you guys not have any... No boatyard worker to fill a... To build a boat. What's going on here? Oh, you guys only build in, in the season? Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. October, November are the wild days when we're meant to be picking stuff from the farms. And that's why certain places have um, their jobs disabled during October and November. And some of them, or most of them, will have fewer workers going on in, in the season. But yeah, we could just terminate most of these fields. New family is setting, settling in our town. Oh, we could terminate these fields! I think that's what we're gonna do next time. I know that it's nice, like, I think that aesthetics-wise, it really breaks the... Like, the, it, it just, it looks nice, you know? You've got, like, the inner bit, and then you've got some fields, and then you've got the outer bit, and on the other side it's mostly residential. Maybe we'll just destroy, like, one field. Maybe just this potato field. It's a massive field, though. Big, big field. A messenger from Derkachi is visiting now. Okay, do you want anything? I could sell you a thousand cloth. Uh, charcoal, we started... Did we start? We didn't start. I wrote it down. A while ago, but we didn't start doing it. And shoes? Okay, we did We did get the shoes. We're gonna sell you shoes. Um, did we not start storing charcoal? What an idiot. Charcoal. Let's just store 200. I know that they only asked for 800. Oh, 2000. I know that they only asked for 800, but... The sooner we store it, the more we have, the better. It's not like it's a super rare thing. Uh, we also need to clear this out, so make this empty, put it somewhere um, to the closest possible storage. I guess you could take... No, nothing can take stone. That's the biggest problem. Construction complete. Village house. Lovely. Lovely. We've got plenty of places for people to work. House is vacant. Yeah, we just need people to move in. Gorgeous. So tell me. Um, are you guys working? What's going on? I want to see. I want to see. Is the draft horse carrying stuff around? Oh boy, it's gone all the way to Spain. Oh no, that's just a person. What's the blue line? Oh, that's a draft horse. What are you carrying? Can I click you? Wagon. Oh yeah, that's the wagon. Tack. Horseshoes. It doesn't show me what they're doing. Which is sad. It didn't show me what they were delivering. I guess they were going home. Home. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Um... 
Oh yeah, no workers in winter. That's good. You know what? During the winter, why don't you just have three workers? And you guys? You guys do have three workers during the winter. That's good. Maybe you don't need three during the summer. We're just trying to equalize things, you know? Slaughterhouse works 24-7. We don't slaughter horses, though. No slaughtering horses in, in this... In this town. For now, you know, maybe someday horses will... Get on, our, get on our bad side, and we will start murdering them. But until that day comes, they are safe. Do we really need three workers here? Should we just say off season one? Yeah, let's do that. And we'll say only during... that in July. July is nice. Nothing seems to be happening in July on the farms. So that that's a good idea, I think. Where's the second wagon shed? Why is it not being built? Are you guys uh, done cutting things? Are you guys not interested in cutting things down? Oh, it's just it's it's a while since it's built. Okay, let's just put that Let's just put that up front. We have a lot of builders. They're just not building. And I want to know why. Minimum wagon fullness. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Horseshoe, horse tack. Oh, yeah. So some places actually buy horseshoes and horse tack. So, I'm gonna say, give me... Wait, how many horseshoes can you produce? I don't know how, how expensive or how much they are to produce. I'm gonna say, give me a hundred horseshoes and give me a horse tack as well. Like a hundred horse tack. I think those things are pretty expensive to make. Um, cart parking. Well, we can put in some carts here. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I do, I am very tempted. We still can't demolish this field, this bugged field. It just says it's season all year round, which is annoying. But we could get rid of one of these fields and I'm really thinking, or we could get rid of both of these. Because it's all be all of those fields, and that's the only thing that these people work. Ah, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Should we just delete it? It's fallow this season anyway. I wonder how many things we could fit in. I wonder. We could always rebuild it. I'm torn, you guys. Okay, let's do it. We demolished it. Oh no, this one's bugged now. Hopefully that's just a visual bug and not a, a not a proper bug. Oh damn, it doesn't have a fence for snapping. Um, I can't even like edit it. I can't even, can I just like build in a fence by hand? Inaccessible, too long. It's not the same fence. <laughs> Wait, maybe one of the fences is at least similar. Let's take a look. Fence number... Th uh, okay, that one's a little bit too tall. Fence number three. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll just... We'll just make this fence ourselves. Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Okay. Sure. That works for me. That works for me big time. Okay, now we could try 
squeezing in two houses here. Oh, this is gonna be a very tight squeeze. Very tight squeeze indeed. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, that is a strange shape that you are taking, sir. Okay, okay, okay. I see the problem. I see the problem. Let's select this fence. Oh, this is this is fiddling of the highest degree. But we gotta make it work. We gotta make it work. And I think we're gonna make it work by going from this end. Aha! I don't know why that worked. I don't think we're gonna get house number four. We can if we get rid of that hay drying buddy. Uh, was it worth it? Oh boy, place is occupied. Oh, no, 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 no. I need you to snap to some of these things, but not all of them. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, he does not want to snap to the good ones. Well, this is a problem. Can I please just rotate? Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, it doesn't want to be squished. Three houses? Was it worth it for three houses in the middle? For what we've just done to the visual, to the appearance of our town. You know what? I think it's good. It's fine. Mm, we can add another hay dryer. Or something else. But probably a hay dryer. Yeah, you know what? We'll leave that empty. We'll see what we can put in there. Why does this shed take so long to build? <laughs> Alright, fellas. I think what we're gonna do... Uh, is... We are going to... Um... We're gonna wrap up here, because it's been 28 minutes almost. And... Then, what we're going to do is we're going to let these buildings be done. And I will just let them build the houses. I, I do this in between the videos sometimes. You know, like, I won't do anything else gameplay-wise. I'll just wait for these houses to be finished. Just because that's what I'm doing right now. I want there to be more more people in town. And that's how we're going to achieve that. Uh, and then after these people have moved in we are going to uh, proceed. We're gonna see what we're gonna we're gonna do in the future. Uh, what, what we'll probably do is we'll probably build the extra farm. We're, we're, we're gonna start you know building more farm fields. Uh, I want to start making sure that oh look at that okay stored produced 6,000 spent 4,600. Yeah see it is getting better over time. We are getting better at this. Uh, so I'm just hoping that we're going to continue to get better. Right, and I will see you uh, in the next one. Feel free to do all the things that you do if you liked the video, if you liked it. And if you hated it, let me know why. And um, don't forget to click the stuff that's on screen. Okay, bye!